morning as we get you set for another edition of baseball on MLB Network. Game one here in the month of May between the Salt Lake Bees and the Fresno Grizzlies. It's baseball on MLB Network and it's coming up next. Alvin Sparks gets the ball in game three of the series. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, this guy has really struggled coming into this game, right? The league is hitting just under 300 against this guy, and that's something he really needs to improve on. And it'll be interesting to see if that trend continues in this start here. Ready now, Shelby Marchetti. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. First pitch coming, here it is. And he takes ball one. Fellas, you take a look at our homestanding ball club as they come into this one tonight. They came out on the losing end last time out and are in a bit of a skid. In fact, they've lost seven of their last ten. Yeah, Maddie. what I need to see out of this offense today is some early production. Somebody's got to get on, uh, on base and, and put the defense on their heels. They've been struggling recently. They're not swinging the bats well. They got shut out yesterday, and this offense needs to adjust itself. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. No, that's down. That's a ball. Dizzy Figgins will be next. The three and one pitch. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. And he is going to have extra bases to start the evening. Now that is the way you want to start a game on the road. He comes out swimming and stands at second as the first base runner of the night. Now we'll see if his teammates can pick him up and if they can punch first. Into the box now. Dizzy Figgins. In the dirt here, and a nice job keeping it close. It's ball one. Marchetti stands at second with no outs. This is skied into short left center. Brown calls for it. One away. That is third. The first baseman, Tyler. Stepping up now, Tyler Maddox. He's two for ten in the series coming into today. He's set and the pitch. Started the breaking ball far too inside that time. Laid off for ball one. Weak roller right side. Fielded cleanly. Only play will be to the pitcher covering, and the runner will advance to third now. Now in the box, Ben Rudolph, runner in scoring position with Sugan. Here comes the first pitch. Ground ball sent back up the middle. He's got it. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. So a good job on the mound there as he'll strand the runner at third in the opening half inning. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one. No score. Lucas Morse, the native of Colorado, gets the start on the mound. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, this guy's done a real good job on the year keeping the opponent's batting average down. Both righties and lefties coming into this one, hitting under 250 against this guy. He's been good all season long. Into the box now, number 57. It'll leave things off here in the bottom Rita, half of the Rita first. Grizzly, the left fielder, number 57. Here it comes. Hey! Fellas, our visiting team, as they take the field after a scoreless top half, they come in looking to make it two in a row as they were winners last time out. Yeah, Matty, coming off last night's W, we had a chance to catch up with the manager. He just liked the way guys are playing. They're showing up to the yard ready to go. They're playing as a collective group. A lot of good things happening in this clubhouse. And there's one gone to start the night. 
Digging in, Domingo Lantigua. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Here it comes. The 1 0 is taken, strike one. One out, nobody on. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. Well, that's a jam shot right there. That's as good as it gets, in my opinion. Whoo, up and in. The one, two. Misses for the second ball. Lifted down the line in left. And that will end up a foul ball. The two, two, one more time. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. So digging in now, Ben Brown. First cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. And the pitch. First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. You know, on a cold night like this, I think you're going to see him continue to elevate pitches and let these guys just fly out to the warning track. Grounded back up the middle. And the throw just does beat him at the bag, so the side is retired. He played an inning. No score here on MLB Network. Now at the plate, Blake Harrington, as it'll be 5, 6, and 7 due up to kick off the second inning. Number 54. first pitch to him there's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner and that nearly broke our scoreless tie instead it's a foul ball and he gets him to swing through that one he's in control 0 and 2 hey I love the aggressive nature this guy's pitching with he's got focus he's commanding the fastball really being aggressive right now a lot different than his last start where he took a loss and seemed timid and scared to attack the zone. Now the pitch. A breaking ball that time that he slaps the other way out into left center and it falls for a base hit. Well, after being laid on a fastball there, it looked like they did him a favor. Yeah, Matt, that's surprising right there. I don't understand that pitch sequence. He blew the fastball right by him, sped up his bat with the off-speed, and got hurt. To the plate now, T.J. Waters, as he'll swing and lift a fly ball to right center. Vickers has the best view of this one, so he'll take it for the first down. The second baseman, Jesse Smith. At the plate, Jesse Smith, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. From the stretch. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. No score here as we play inning number two. One and one the count now. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. On its tailor made to short, six. The second for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning.
Striding into the box, Sergio Rivera. Two hits and eight tries for the series. Sergio Rivera. First offering on its way. Strike one to start the at bat. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. Name it a game out on the mound is to disrupt timing of the hitters in the box. He certainly got this guy on the defensive. The 1-1. One, one. Hit in the air to right field. Right fielder giving chase. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. Batting fifth. The third baseman. So striding forward now, Clayton Janeway. First pitch coming, here it is. And a fastball is in there for strike one. This is high, a ball and a strike. Heading out towards shallow right. Marte in a few steps as he takes it. Two down. Now to the plate, Mike Cusimano. He was hitless in the shutout last night. Here's the first pitch to him. Changed up on him and dropped it in for a called strike. Bottom of the second here with no score. And he lays off for ball one. Called strike in a dangerous location there, one and two. Yeah, I get it. They want to run this guy's pitch count up, but that was a pretty good pitch to hit. He might be kicking himself that he didn't swing at that one. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Two and two now with two away and the base is empty. Good job to lay off that one-two breaking ball. Put himself right back in this at bat. Two out, nobody on. Hit hard back up the middle. And that's through for a hit. Well, this was a good start for the pitcher. First five guys, five up, five down. But the number six hitter proved to be a little bit more difficult. And that's a bullet hit. Yeah, absolutely right there, Dan. Just a nice A-B by the six-hole guy after watching his first five brethren take a seat. At the plate now, Mambo Ibanez. As he'll take a look at ball one. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Runner. The 1 0 home. Strike called. Now the throw down. Way late, and he's in there easily at second. You know, I like the aggressiveness there. They haven't cracked the scoreboard at this point, so it's clear they're trying to manufacture something by forcing the action. We'll see if it works out for him. The set and the 1-1. One, one. Fouled away. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Started to chase there. They'll appeal it down to third. And no swing. It's ball two. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. Some pitchers fall into the trap of giving in on three and two because they don't want to walk the guy. But with the base open, it's not the end of the world if you do. You still need to make a quality pitch. And now in advance of a big three and two pitch, time is called at the plate as he'll press the reset button.
the payoff pitch. And that misses ball four, so it's first and second now with two out. Wow, I'm not sure what they were afraid of in this at bat. The count moved to three and two, and they didn't even challenge him there. I can understand being careful with some hitters, but not that guy. He'll happily take the walk. In now, Mitch King, twos all over the place. Two on, two out, and of course, here in inning number two. First pitch of the at-bat. Cut fastball taken for strike one. Two down, runners at first and second. And it's quickly 0-2. Oh and two here it is here's a little chopper up the middle a barehanded pickup touche sir no runs a hit two left we played two full and we are tied nothing nothing now at the plate Michael Marte he'll stand in to open things up here in the third Michael Marte ready with the first pitch here it comes Count one and zero. Oh. Now the one zero oh is in there for strike one. Good breaking ball there, laid off for the second strike. Hey, I don't mind that take right there. That was a nasty breaking ball. Started outside the zone, popped back inside the zone. Good spin rate on it. Move on to the next pitch. Struck him out. For me, check swings are right there next to bang-bang plays at first as the most difficult calls for an ump to make. Taking a look at show motion, the batter doesn't appear to hold up enough, so I think the call was right. And the pitch. Marshall Kemp is next as he finds himself behind 0-1. Third inning, no score to this point. And he fouls this one off. And he couldn't get him to chase the 0-2 fastball. It's 1-2. Tries to get him to chase the curve ball away, but it breaks outside. Two and two now. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. Out of play. Another 2 2 offering. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Fouled off. And he finally wins the battle as this is swung on and missed for the second out. He's looked great on the bump the first few innings of this game, and I think his ability to change speeds effectively has been a big reason why. That was a good change of speed for the strikeout there, and I've seen a lot of hitters look pretty off with their timing so far. Standing in now, Shelby Marchetti. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He doubled to open up the ball game. Now the 1-0. Finds the zone, strike one. One and one. On the ground to the left side. Scooped up. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. So they go quietly here in this half inning. 
We'll head now to the home half of inning number three. And we are tied nothing-nothing. So coming to the plate, Colin Vickers looking for better results than last night when he went 0 for 4 in that one. Colin Vickers. First pitch on its way. This one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time. And it's fouled away. Now the one and one pitch. Misses ball two. Back up the middle. Reined in. And that's out number one. Now back. Digging in to try it again. Number 57. 0 for 1 here in the early going. First pitch coming. Here it is. And this is drifting foul back into the stands. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. Drilled on the ground to short, right to him. Throw gets him, two down. Standing in, Domingo Lantigua. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Ready to deliver, here's the first pitch. A ball and no strikes. And that one misses upstairs, 2-0. and oh. Swung on and hit in the air to left. Left fielder giving chase. And a great diving effort there, but it'll just tip off his glove, and it's a base hit. The batter, number two. Shortstop. Hey. Wow. Into the box, Ben Brown, as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Here's the 0-1 pitch. Hard hit ball to second. He's got it. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. One hit, one left. Three innings complete. And we are tied nothing nothing. All set for the start of the inning. And digging in is the outfielder, Dizzy Figgins. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. One ball, no strikes to count. The 1-0. It is a fastball in off the plate for a ball. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Fouled away. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. He is swung on and missed. He got him. That was aggressive pitching in that at bat, and I like seeing that. He showed all hard stuff until the fifth and final pitch for the strikeout. When you work off your hard stuff, it really opens up your secondary pitches to be more deceptive. At the plate, Tyler Maddox as the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball 1 and 0. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. That evens it up 1 and 1.
Here it comes. Now a swing and a miss, and he's behind one and two. Hey, it's a game of execution. If the pitcher stays right there, this lineup's going to continue to have a tough time. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. And he got him. No better way to minimize the potential damage a cleanup hitter can do than to strike out both guys in front of him. Always a confidence boost when you can sit down the guys at the top of the lineup. So now to the plate, Ben Rudolph, as he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. The 1-0 is laid off, but in there for strike one. Man, this guy's in a good groove right now. Seven straight retired. He's locked in. And he fouls this one off. The 1-2. Two balls, two strikes. Struck him out, so he makes quick work of him here. Three straight strikeouts, and the side is retired. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And Four next to bat will be the first baseman, the first Sergio baseman. Rivera. Sergio Rivera. And now pitch on the way. Swung on and missed. Oh it's 0-1. This guy's been throwing the ball great so far, but it's going to be tested here. Four, five, and six coming up this part of the lineup. Late decision to swing that time, and as a result, it's 0-2. Now, time called at the plate as he'll step out and try and start it again. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Marchetti is there, and he makes the catch for the out. Now that Digging in for his second at-bat, Clayton Janeway. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First pitch on its way. Fouled off. Bases are empty, one man out. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. And it's fouled away. Ready with another 0 2. A little bit off the outside. It's 1 and 2. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at 2 and 2. Regardless of the result right here, to be down 0-2 and work it back to an even count, got to feel like it's a win for the offense. And that's a swinging strike three in the dirt. Harrington is after it, and the throw to first is there to record the second out. Now back. Digging in, Mike Cusimano. He singled his last time up. Yeah, guys, everyone knows he's been slumping. Dan, you can certainly attest to this, only amassing a solid one hit in your entire career. But pressure's off now. Maybe he gets hot. Love that pitch. As long as you actually get it inside, like he did right there, the cutter inside is a very effective pitch. Count now a ball and a strike. One one home. And he 
turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. Started to go around, but it's a called third strike anyway, and that will retire the side. Coming to the plate now, Blake Harrington. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How do they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. One oh. The one oh home. Fouled away. The one one is in there for strike number two. I know to the fans that probably looked like something good to hit, but unless you're sitting breaking ball right there, I don't care if it's middle of the plate. That's a tough pitch to pull the trigger on. That one misses, and I think a ballpark full of umpires disagrees. It's two and two. Now here's the pitch. Popped him up. Brown waits on it. He's got it one away. Now with the play, T.J. Waters. He flew out in his last at bat. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Ball one, no strike. Hitters count. Here's the 2 0 pitch. Hey, he's had great command all day. Want to see how aggressive he is in the zone with a three ball count. One out, nobody on. And he misses ball four. Now back. Second base. Jesse. Stepping in, Smith. Jesse Smith. From the stretch. Hey. Strike taken up in the zone. Quite an interesting outing up to this point as we head into the middle innings. He's pitching quite well, but you look at his first pitch strike percentage, less than 40%. That's going to be something he's going to need to clean up moving forward. Oh, 01 here's the pitch. Oh, he looks like he's toying with him here. It's 0 and 2. You can't go after that pitch with less than two strikes on you. There's no way you're going to do any damage with a ball executed down and away in the zone. Got him. This pitching staff has done a really good job against this guy in this series. This is a really good hitter, and it's not easy to make a guy strike out five times in a series up to this point, but that's what they've done to this guy so far. In now, Michael Marte as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. The 1 0. And 
this one's in the dirt. Runner holds as the count moves to two and one. A runner on first with two away. Taken. Strike two called, and it's even at two and two. Tried to fool him with the changeup, but he won't offer at it. Three and two. Three, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Throw over to the bag. Throw is up the line as it gets away. I think this one all comes down to poor footwork. The runner really didn't have that big of a lead by any means, so he was probably just simply throwing over there. It looks pretty easy, right? But when you're spinning to make that throw like that, this one just gets away from him, something he might need to work on before his next outing. Over towards the dugout, but this one will get into the stands. Here's the payoff pitch. Keeps fighting him off. The eighth pitch of the at-bat coming up. Lifted down the line in left. And that will end up a foul ball. Payoff pitch on its way. And he struck him out. His seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Back-to-back -back strikeouts keep them out of danger. We're back to Friday Night Baseball on MLB Network after this. Striding in once again, Mambo Ibanez. He drew a walk his first time up. Mambo Ibanez. Here's the pitch. One out. The one out. Slap hard the opposite way, and that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit, so the leadoff man reaches in their half of the fifth. Nothing fires me up more than watching a hitter take what a pitcher gives him. Pitches away batter's able to keep his hands inside not try and do too much and just force feet a single stepping in now Mitch King as he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty it's strike one man this guy's been incredibly efficient so far in this one mostly because he's getting ahead 70% of the batters he's faced He's thrown the first pitch strike to. In there, and he's in control 0-2 now. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. A runner at first with no outs here. And he fouls this one off. Again, a 1-2. A swing and a miss on a ball way out of the zone, and there's one away. The right fielder, now with the plate, Colin Vickers oh, comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. set here's the nothing and nothing pitch fouled off the 0 1 pitch oh, that's off the plate. Vickers playing here in his age 34 season this is the final year of his current deal so he'll be a free agent at season's end you know, Matty, I know he's in the final year of his contract, but he's playing to expectations, to be honest with you. I know he, need, he wants to turn it up a little bit, though, as he approaches the end of the season and make that salary push as he heads towards free agency again. Now the 2-1 is strike two swinging. Hey, you know the pitcher right now, he's looking for that best friend, that double play ball. This is where you have to really be disciplined at the plate and make sure that you get a pitch that's above the knees that you can get in the air. 
Here now the 2-2. Just hung in there on that one. Runners on first with one down. Outside in a full count, three and two. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. Three, two count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. And before the big three, two pitch, time is called at home plate. Payoff pitch home. Four foul balls in this A-B. Pitcher cannot find anywhere to go to put this guy away. The next 3-2. Now here's a check swing, and they appeal down to first. No swing. So that's ball four. Now back. Number oh, man, that check swing was about as close as they get. Tough call for the umpire, but it goes the batter's way this time, and he draws the walk. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, number 57. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Swing, and he pops him up. And that's going to get the job done. It's a base hit. The throw to the plate. And not in time as the run scores. Boy, it's been tough to score in this one so far through the fifth inning, but that RBI base hit right there is a nice breakthrough. Yeah, it's been a great pitcher's duel up until this point. They've been executing on the bump without question, but that RBI knock right there might set the tone for the later innings. To the plate now, Domingo Lantigua. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. A hit and two tries for him so far. Can't sit back long enough, and the count evens up at one and one. On its way is pitch number 75. Popped up. Kemp in foul ground. And no one will track it down. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. Swing a soft liner. And that's through into center field. Base hit. He's safe. Tack on another here as the runner scores from second. Boy, so frustrating as a pitcher. Two strike RBI base hit. The ball wasn't good approach. This is one of those players. Already 24 pitches to this point in the inning. Pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. The 2-1 home. Hard hit ball to second. Field it cleanly to second for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors in a row. Standing in, Marshall Kemp. They'll start things out in the sixth for a lineup that really hasn't found its groove in this one. Yeah, only two hits so far, Matt, and not very many hard hit balls either. We'll see if they can start making some adjustments. Here's the first offering. Wow, fastball up and in. I'm not sure it was intended to be that far up and that far in, but message sent. Beware. The 1 0 is offered at and missed for the first strike. A good fastball that backed him off the plate. And then some slow stuff down and away. That's one of the classic ways to mess up a hitter's timing. Up and in, down and away, textbook. 
Two balls and a strike now. The 2 1 home. And it's fouled away. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. Fouled away. The 2 2 one more time. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. He's been in total control out there tonight. Gets the leadoff guy with a strike out there, and it just seems like we've seen so many off balance swings and weekly hit balls in this one. Into the box now, Shelby Marchetti. And he fouls this one off. He's one for two in this one. This is line to left. Number 57 is there, and he makes the catch for the out. Now back the center field. Dizzy. Figgins. Digging in once again, Dizzy Figgins. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Count 1 and 0. Hey, with two outs in the number two hole, you're just trying to get on. You got the big boys coming up behind you. The 1-0. He's a heater in there for a strike. Fouled off. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Bases are empty here with two men out. And it's fouled away. He got a mistake right there, but missed it. Can't foul that pitch off in a big spot. 0-2 count. Heater caught too much of the zone. Another one sent foul. The one two is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Pablo Quintana enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 74, Pablo Quintana. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And here comes the first baseman, Sergio Rivera. First baseman, Sergio Rivera. The pitch. Right-hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. Outside, 3-0 now. Clayton Janeway waits on deck. The 3-0. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. It's becoming more and more common in today's game to see relievers like this that can run it up there close to 100 miles per hour. But it's so fun to watch it. He blew it right by him there. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. 
go to that well one more time. He's been late on the first two. Now the three and two pitch. Gets him looking up around the letters. It looked like this at bat had the makings of a leadoff walk when it started 3-0. So that's a good job not to give in and battle back to earn the strikeout. That's not always easy to do. Standing in now, Clayton Janeway. Fouled away. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Here comes the 0 1. And oh, look out as the cutter ran way in and just about drilled him. Most good pitchers know that they have to work inside and sometimes even come off the plate to keep hitters from getting comfortable up there. I think that was part of the intent with that last pitch. The 1 1. Hey. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. That's back-to-back -back K's, and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. At the plate, Mike Cusimano. As with two away, he'll swing and miss at the first pitch. It's 0-1. He's working on a one-for-two game so far. behind 0 and 2 now nothing in two count and the pitch and just a masterful job of pitching here as he strikes out the side in order. Leading off the inning, Tyler Maddox, and they'll need him to get something going here. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. First offering on its way. And that misses for ball one. After watching that one go by and a ball being called, you can rest assured he knows he's not getting away with another one of those. I guarantee you he's going to be aggressive on this next pitch. Now the 1-0. is a cold strike on the changeup. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Looking for his 10th strikeout. Here's the pitch. Yeah, well, down two. You better believe they gladly take a leadoff walk right here. Anything to get a base runner on and get that tie run to the plate. Lifted down the line and left. And that's in there. Base hit. And this will find the wall deep in the corner. Boy, this guy's been swinging a hot stick lately. And there's just another example. And even when he doesn't hit one on the barrel, he still manages another base hit. Yeah, don't overthink it. When you're flowing like he is right now, he's hot as a pistol. Everything's falling. Striding forward now is the DH, Ben Rudolph. First delivery to him on the way. A one pitch on its way. Nope. Ball one. One and one. Pitch. 
Swing and a miss on the pitch outside. One and two now. Something that stood out to me in this game is the lineup's lack of a solid plan at the plate. Seems like way too many guys are chasing pitches out of the zone and trying to hit pitchers' pitchers like that one down and away. There's no success in that. Got him to miss the breaking ball there. Ben Rudolph becomes the first out of the inning. the manager out of the first base dugout heading for the mound and it looks as though that's going to be all for his starter here tonight so as he departs he'll remain responsible for the man left aboard but he cannot lose this one William Wayne enters to make an appearance on the mound as he inherits a runner at first with one out in the inning William Wayne At the plate now, Blake Harrington, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Wayne is at least partially known for his big power slider. A lot of break on that pitch, but what makes it unique is how hard he's able to throw it. The 1-0. A little roller toward the hole. And he won't even think about second as he'll flip on to first for the sure out. Standing in is the potential tying run, TJ Waters. But a single here could reduce the deficit to only one. Here's the first pitch to him. And this is low, ball one. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Watching him on the mound right now, I think he's just having trouble throwing strikes to this guy. Up only two runs, I don't think he's working around him. Hit hard to third, reined in. Throw in time, and the side is retired. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. Seventh inning stretch time here at the ballpark. Fresno leads this one two to nothing. Digging in and looking for more, Mambo Ibanez. The catcher, Mambo Ibanez. Here comes the first pitch. Ball one, no strike. in the air out to center field. Figgins is there and he has it for the first out. The, so the plate now is the, the designated hitter, hitter Mitch King. King. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. First pitch coming. Here it is. Hey. Wind up and the 0 1. After falling down 0 2 on the same pitch, don't be shocked if he triples up on it. Lofted in the air out toward right center. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Ready for another the shot right now. Here. Holland Vickers. Vickers. Here's the first pitch to him. The 0-1 delivery. Ball one. Here's a breaking ball outside, and now it's even 1-1. One one. Yeah, and if you get a guy flailing at a pitch like that, heck, you're going to go out there and throw that same pitch until he proves he can lay off of it. 
And he fouls this one off. Two out, nobody on. Now a fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's two and two now. Pitch on the way. Fouled off. And prior to the 2 2, he'll step out of the box and ask for time. Now here it comes. Started to go. Did he hold up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. And it's fouled away. The three, two, one more time. He swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. DJ Grissom is into the ball game now as he'll make his fifth appearance of the season here. Number 73, DJ. Digging in, Jesse Smith. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast? They could certainly use that right now. Someone on this offense needs to take it upon themselves to have a quality A-B and start the line moving again. Looked like he tried to pull it there, but he swings right through the fastball. Oh, I love this, boys. Mono e mano. He's coming to get him with back-to-back -back big time heaters. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Well, we'll see a lot of these power arms coming out of the bullpen in these days, but it doesn't make it any less impressive to me. I love watching guys come in and blow smoke right by guys. Stepping in now, Michael Marte, as he'll take a look at ball one. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Now the 1-0. A ball and a strike now. One one. Bases are empty, one man out. Got him! And he goes down on strikes for the third time. It's been a rough night at the yard for him. That's three times he's gone down on strikes in this one. So they've really figured out how to attack this guy. Yeah. So now to the plate, Marshall Kemp. As he'll take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he falls behind 0-2. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off-speed pitch. Popped him up. Ibanez is under it. And that ends the inning. 
So they're held in check here this half of the inning. Home half of the eighth straight ahead. The Grizzlies are out in front two to nothing. You're Sam Shannon is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 28. Dan. Dan. Ready once again. Number 57. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. The, Grizzlies, the left fielder. Number 57. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. In there for strike one, 0 oh and 1. That's popped up. And that's a base hit, so a chance for some important insurance here to kick off the bottom of the eighth. Hey, they're not all beautiful, and they don't all have to be. Just throwing a lawn dart over the third baseman's head right there. Beautiful piece of hit. Into the box, Domingo Lantigua. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. So far, two for three in this one. Here's the 0-1. Hit down the line at first, but this will get foul for strike two. And before the 0-2 pitch, he'll step out of the box here to regroup. Fouled away. In the dirt, and now let's see. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. Mackenzie Van Poppel will come on now to replace him as he's in to pinch run following the injury. One and two, here it comes. And he fouls this one off. Here's another one, two. Tried to hold back, but this is popped up. Kemp is under it, and he's got it for the first down. Coming to the plate now, Ben Brown. Wow. First pitch on its way. Liner in there for a base hit. And they won't risk it at third, so they're at the corners now with only one away. Nice piece of hitting right there. Looked like the guy on second had to respect it and freeze a little bit. They had to freeze there for a second to make sure that line drive gets down, but eventually does get the third base. Standing in now, Sergio Rivera. One and oh, the count. From the belt, kicks and deals. And he misses again, 2-0. Two no From the stretch. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Catch made here in medium deep right center and the runner's breaking from third. 
And he'll make it into score. It's a sack fly and an RBI, and it's now a 3 nothing ball game. Great job there by this power hitter. Known for driving the ball out of the ballpark. Does the job right there with the sack fly and brings the run home. So stepping in, Clayton Janeway. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. He's set. Here it comes. Swing and a miss at a first pitch changeup. Nothing in one. This is where you step out, adjust the batting gloves, and take a deep breath. You have to slow the moment down. I know you want to be a hero, but that pitch right there, a great executed changeup, had this batter way out in front. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. But a good play by the first baseman to spear this one, and that'll retire the side. A run on two hits, and they leave one. We've played eight full. Fresno leads this one. Three to nothing. Your Kenneth Rogers two. comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the Number top of the ninth. Two. Kenneth Rogers. New inning set to get underway and set to go as the switch hitting outfielder Shelby Marchetti. They look like they're up against it here down three on the road trying to come back against the closer. Here's the first pitch to him. Probably a design take right there. They need base runners so they're going to make him try to bring the ball in the strike zone. This one is launched. Look at this. Gone to lead off the inning. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Fourth home run here in the early going. As they get one back, it's three to one now. My friends is a cardinal sin for any closer you can't give up the long ball good thing for him he still has the lead we'll see now if he can rebound and actually keep it Into the box now, Dizzy Figgins, as he'll take a tough pitch on the outside part of the plate for strike one. Base is empty here with nobody out. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. Tapped out in front of home. On the first, so a good bounce back pitch there as he gets the ground ball for the first out. Ready for another chance? Tyler Maddox, one run in and one gone so far in the center. First pitch on its way. 4-1. One oh count here it is. Hey, this isn't going to be an easy save. These guys are making it work for this one. One out, nobody on. Too high as he misses again here, and it's three and oh now. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Set. Here's the 3 0. Now a slider here, but this will miss off the plate away, and it's ball four. Now that designated hitter, Ben Rudolph. So here's the cleanup hitter, Ben Rudolph.
first pitch of the at bat on its way. Oh, oh, had him chopping at that one. It's nothing in one. That was a pretty good fastball after he walked the hitter previous. There was a little angry on that heater. Runner at first here, one man out. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Get it ready, big boy. This guy's throwing three digits right here. The best way I can help the fans is 90 to 92, you can usually see seams. 92 to 95, it starts to really quicken up on you. Over three digits, you're seeing a white blur. Working for the punch out and the offering. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's one and two. Going to need to make a little bit of an adjustment with a slider release and at least tempt the hitter that it's going to be a strike. And that misses two and two. Looks like that bomb earlier in the inning kind of put this pitcher on the defensive. That being very aggressive right now. Here now the 2-2. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations these days. What makes it so effective? I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter. Do you think you can drive it? But it's really hard to get on top of that good high hard fastball. At the plate, Blake Harrington. And he's a bit tardy there on the first pitch fastball. It's nothing in one. He's working on a one for three thus far. And a fastball way off target here, and it's even at one. Set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Two and one. From the stretch. And this ball's in the air to left field, and this should do it. Van Poppel is there. Makes the catch, and the ball game is over. Yeah, and in this game, you always try to find a way to be hopeful. They win the first game of a new month and are now looking to keep it rolling the rest of the way. Tonight's ball game comes to a close. Three to one, the final. Fresno used a nice fifth inning to take the lead, and they never gave it back. Alvin Sparks earns the win his second as he racked up ten strikeouts in the effort. Kenneth Rogers hammers down the save his sixth. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners, Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak, this is Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB Network. Good night, everybody. Fans are final line for First, for the victorious Wizards, three runs on seven hits. One error, they left six men on base. For the Bees, one run, four hits. No errors. They left five men on base. Time of the ball game: two hours and 33 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely.